Hi guys! Welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do this wintry look, you can have a wee preview in here. Yeah, I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial, if you do, let me know down in the comments below, let's start! <laughs> I'm excited to show you another design so I've got my stands in there and the tips so I'm just putting the tips on the stands and we are going to do this kind of like a wintry look so I'm going to start with buffing my tip just so the gel polish sticks in now nice on it and I'm super excited as well because you guys asked me on the live video like what kind of lamp I'm using so usually I'm preferring the UV LED uh, new lamps and they are best actually because they cure the gel polishes uh, really nice and quick and we are going to use no not this one maybe this one sexy gray 165 it's like a wee shimmery metallic look gray And I think it looks perfect for this time of the year. When you're working with the metallic gel polishes, and this is pretty important tip as well, once I paint it, I kind of tend to go and make sure my painting lines are really nice and straight. So you don't want to have those lines going into different direction because then those tips doesn't look nice. And then put it inside my lamp. So I've got a really uh, brand new one and I love it because it's huge. Like, I mean, I could probably squeeze in two of my hands. Um, and um, it is really powerful one as well because it has 72 uh, watt. So uh, it is really powerful one which is absolutely awesome and now I don't have to worry that my tips are not going to cure so I'm super excited. I'm actually give you a link as well for this one because uh, the previous one was dying kind of on me. Uh, I would recommend that you do replace your lamps um, if you use them really often every three months time and if you don't use it, it uh, as often then maybe every half a year to a one year time uh, just so they cure your products properly I actually it is so powerful that I need to turn it more to the side because otherwise it will cure my gel polish while I'm working on it so I don't want really that and I like it as well because it has those uh, slow settings and the slow settings are very important for me for working with the foil design gel because uh, it needs a slow settings for a best uh, curing like and then you get a really nice adhesion to the product okay so no dust on it metallic gel polish is kind of works similar to the chrome so any kind of imperfections are going to really oh, I'm so fussy any kind of new perfection imperfections are going to really show it <laughs> See, there is a part of the dust and it's totally my fault. When I was cleaning the tip, I didn't remove the dust properly. And you don't want that. Okay, put it inside the lamp. And because it's a brand new lamp, at 30 seconds cure is going to be absolutely perfect. So this is a big time saver for me as well. And then if I'm using an older lamp, I would cure it always 60 seconds because uh, I would be scared the gel polish might be not cured properly. Okay, second layer, pop it inside the lamp. I really like this color too. But as I say, with the metallic colors, your polishing technique is really important. So look how I'm checking it under different um, angles and checking like different direction. Perfect. And now a fun part, that's what I love the most. So on my mixing palette, I'm going to uh, put a tiny bit of the color 169. And it's so awesome color. I love it it's so much. Like nice and sparkly. Absolutely beautiful one. And then on my first tip, we are going to paint kind of like a Christmas tree shape. So, wow, this is so cool. So what you want to do is just paint a triangle all the way down. 
Okay, paint the triangle, color it in. Really simple. I think most of the designs, once we break them through different kind of very easy shapes, uh, they're easy to paint. Okay, so nice. Yeah, and we've got the triangle. I'm just checking in the camera. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. Awesome. Top it inside the lamp. And then on this one, we are going to fade the sparkle. So I will just apply it in on the top and then I've got some sponge, but you can use a makeup sponge as well. So I've got some kind of like on sponges like this. Some of them are used, so I'm just going to quickly replace it for a fresh one. And they are from Shinties. They've got the website if you're in UK, shinties.co.uk, if I could remember. I got it on one of the trade shows, so uh, they awesome as well, the sponges. So squeeze that in, squeeze that in. Oh, come on, squeeze that in. There we are. And when you're working with the sponges, I quite like to have a tiny bit of the tape somewhere on the side, which I can use it to clean the sponges. Very useful hint for you. Tips. Yeah, very useful tips for you. So this goes on the side somewhere. There we are. Clean the sponge from any fluffy bits and pieces. And now we are just going to blend that out a little bit. Just so it is more sparkly, but more from the top. Okay, so you just apply it at wherever. And then fading it down the way. Okay, and then when I finish the fading, I always kind of touch up at the edges, if there is any places where I want a tiny bit more product. And we've got the tip, which is really nice and shimmery from the top and then gray on the bottom. Cook it inside the lamp. And on this time, uh, this one is a time for sparkle. So we are going to use the soak of base gel. I'm applying a tiny bit of it on the side. And then using my old brush, we are going to decorate this Christmas tree up. I've got some bits and pieces and I actually need to check what I've got in here. Or oh, I've got some nice ones there. I've got actually too many of them. Okay, that will look awesome as a Christmas bubble. And I might kindly, uh, kindly, kindly. <gasps> no, I love this one. Oh my goodness, guys, I love this one. Now I'm getting all my suits kind of from the Born Pretty website. They're really great and fab for a, <gasps> this is awesome. This is going to be our Christmas tree topper. Absolutely amazing, okay. So what I'm going to do is put the base gel right on the top, like a really decent amount of the base gel. And then stick in your absolutely stunning Christmas tree topper. Wow, that looks so pretty. Okay, give it a flash cure. So that's just like a couple seconds of the... Uh, of the cure and in the meantime I'm going to grab more gems more gems more gems okay cameraman didn't catch up the suggestion when I'm saying more gems more gems <laughs> he's laughing now and he's searching for a more gems for me um, so yes perfect oh no no Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm really happy now, especially with the pearly ones, so we can uh, place, okay, this is, uh, this is plenty, so I'm really, really chuffed now, and we are going to decorate our Christmas tree up. So, 
put a couple of the dots from your base gel and then let's see what Christmas bubbles we've got. So I don't want to make them like really too big. So I'm going to apply some of those pearly ones in here. That's a nice Christmas bubble. That's a nice Christmas bubble. So does this one. And this one. <laughs> like a child putting a Christmas uh, bubbles on the tree. <laughs> I love all those kind of different... Okay, I just place them like this because I can still move them. And then I'm going to swap to the treasures what the cameraman gave it to me. They will be nice. I've got sometimes too much stuff, I think. Like really too much stuff. I bet you guys the same. Like, you know, each time when there is something new, you just want to get it. <laughs> Okay, that's for a summertime. And that's, oh, no, that's for some other ideas and what I've got in here. Hmm, I've got too much to choose from now. But I love this one. And we are going to place some large bubbles on the bottom. Yeah, definitely. Place the large bubbles on the bottom. Same like you would uh, do your Christmas tree up. Like So you want the large gems to be on the bottom. And then some smaller gems on the top. I want also some clear ones. This is a really big fan. And again, like each time when I see some nice crystals, I, I just tend to go and buy them like so I can I can play and use them in different ways later on. But the idea about this design is that we do fill it up with all sort of different crystals. So all the Christmas tree is going to be with um, like one big crystal Christmas tree. And you cannot go really wrong with it. Like as long as you keep those triangle shape. So really, you want to keep it this triangle shape. You can leave some spaces a little bit empty, like they don't need to be completely filled up with the, um, with the crystals, because you've got those glittery background. And that's why I really wanted to apply those glittery background. Okay, that start looking really awesome. And what else I'm missing is those tiny, tiny wee ones. So I'm just going to add a couple, maybe of those rose gold ones. Why not? So a drop of the base and we are going to fill up those tiny wee spaces with those rose gold ones. And for the caviar beads, I like to use the small brush you could even make a chain out of it yes you could make a chain out of it so i think as many different uh, styles as many different ideas for all those beautiful designs oh come on caviar beads behave So the easiest way to pick up for me the caviar beads is just like take a drop of the base on my brush and then just pick up those caviar beads. Do you like it, cameraman? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I like in my Christmas tree. I think it's super cool. Okay, kick it inside the lamp. 
And now we can create another design in here. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of the freehand painting. And again, I'm going to use a drop of the paint on French gel. Put it on my mixing palette. And now we are going to paint some chains and decorate them with the gems too. So nice and thin brush, like really thin, you wanted it nice and thin. Wee line. And another wee line. Okay, so you want just those kind of like a very thin line. And then I will do one more in here. I think it's an awesome set of the Christmassy uh, needles. Give it a flash cure because then we want to do some gems. And this tip is ready so we can just pick up our high shine no wipe top gel and apply this top coat. I love this one. So simple like and so much fun to do it. So make sure you apply the top coat everywhere, especially around the crystals. If you find it um, too difficult to apply it, it with the large brush, you could just take a small brush and apply it with the small brush in between those crystals. Yeah, I, I I'm definitely going to use this design for my clients, the ones which will really want a Christmas tree. I think I prefer the bling bling Christmas tree to the freehand painted one. I think it's much nicer. Okay, and now we are going to apply some decorations on this one. So let's see what we've got. Okay, I really like the star one. Like I think it's fantastic and I'm going to stick it just so it goes with the theme. Yeah, just so everything goes with the theme. So clean my brush, pick up a large scap of the base gel and this is going to go here. Okay, I want my star to be in the middle. Oh, perfect. Just right in the middle. Or maybe not in the middle, but like kind of in a central point of the design. Give it a flash here because this is a really large, um, large design. Squeeze out a couple of the caviar beads. I will squeeze them out in here. Awesome. And now we can create another part of this beautiful design. So again, I'm going to pick up the base gel. <clears throat> and I find that the crystals which are secured with the base gel, they last really ages. And what we want to do is apply like a chain, which goes all the way up to our line. So chain, gem, and another bit. Give it a flash cure. That's plenty. And then another one coming out from, actually why not going from the top? Yes, go all the way from the top because I like this. <laughs> okay, and in between each gem, we are putting the sweet caviar bead. I love the fact like we can, you don't need much of the artistic even um, skills to play with your crystal placement and 
the designs are always fantastic. Like my clients love it, like anything which is blingy. And I mean, you know me guys as well, like, and I love my blink too. So here I'm going to do another chain. So pick up the gold bead and it's coming out from the side now. And once you place first crystal, uh, you kind of tend to see more where else you could place some crystals to make something really nice and beautiful. And it's absolutely therapeutic. Uh, sometimes you guys ask me for the prices as well. So I tend to charge usually about, okay, the paints. If I'm picking up like a big crystals, I would charge one pound for them. And I'm talking about the shapes like true Swarovski crystals and um, the smaller crystals, 25 pence per crystal. And uh, if they are a fake crystals, then of course, much, much cheaper. Like, uh, so really it's depending of the, of the material you are using. I quite like that already. And then we have to do it a small one on the side. So give it a flash cure again. Perfect. And another one just in there. So the gem and the caviar beads. And if you don't have any caviar beads, you have to get them. Like uh, they are so amazing, like for the um, crystals placement. They just fill up any kind of missing places and they look absolutely fantastic. Flash cure. Okay, and we also miss something in there, like a wee Christmas bubble or something. So another drop of the product and this chain is coming out from here. Okay, yes, here. So one gem. And then the caviar beads. And you have seen me, oh, actually, by the way, they are really old now. You can see the growth when I push back the cuticles, <laughs> like, uh, but you can see the sugar lasts no bother and the gems last no bother. Even if the large ones uh, with this application, they are absolutely fine and they are not going to come off. Awesome. And now we need something which goes with the thin. So because we have used this uh, rounded shape, I'm going to place this round huge bubble in here no this is not good guys it has to go lower see once I place the crystal I could see it straight away that's this is completely wrong so a blob of the base a bit lower and stick that in here. Don't go too low, but then it cannot go too close to the cross because it just does it just didn't look right like. So pick up those Swarovski crystals. Okay, I can see I'm going to need only two. Move the caviar bead, Swarovski crystal, then two caviar beads. And I, I find that they are so tiny that picking them with the wax uh, picker is no use. Like sometimes they just don't want to uh, come off from it. So. Now, with the other side, I'm just moving them into the right position. Yeah, this is awesome. Give it a flash cure. And the last part, something else on the other side, just for a balance. Like, I don't like two. Like, I find it for, and you guys sometimes ask it me as well, like, oh, how do you know, like, how to do some things? So, I find it that if you go for even numbers, it just doesn't look right. 
like I find it uh, for the new art uneven numbers are better so you would either do one snowflake or you would do three snowflakes or you would do five snowflakes but you wouldn't do two snowflakes it will look weird and same this design three chains are good and then um, or one but two is just like not right okay cook it flash cure oh and then I've got a Christmas bubble oh I'm going to make my own how cool is that so to make my own I'm going to use a smaller gem and we will create similar design to this one so base take a base take this gold and then the tiny wee gem which will go inside Ta -da! I like this one okay so we've got another one and they actually go together well kick it inside the lamp and then we can apply the top coat so the Christmas tree is ready and it looks fantastic like I really enjoy it playing with this design I might show you quickly uh, another one just so everything goes together and let's do let's do sugar ink with the um, sugar ink yes let's go for a sugar ink with the gems i really wanted to try it out as well um, i use quite a lot of pixie pixie is um, swarovski crystals crushed crystals like a broken broken crystal uh, but you can get this effect um, with a much cheaper option and that would be a glitter um, and i show you how to recreate this look so but the tip <laughs> So above the tip and we are going to apply only one layer of this gel polish okay just one layer because most of this color is not going to be as visible so this is just a background okay quick quick cook it and for sugar now sugar lasts as well like um, with no border like again I've got some sugar design in here and of course this is my filing uh, finger so they will always look worse and then this one lasts absolutely fine as well um, so I use it quite a lot quite a lot of it for my clients and they always like it as well because it looks quite nice and different uh, to the um, to the glitter which is encapsulated okay so this tip is cure and to get the effect we want first of all i'm going to apply the crystals and we want to put them into the random kind of places so i'm picking up my base gel so base and i would apply one here two three four five six seven again on even number okay And I've got a couple of the bigger ones and I'm going to use them as well. Huh. Huh. No, it's not going to go. Don't overdo it, Dorot. Okay, so I'm just picking up a couple of the larger crystals. And then in the other places, I want the smaller ones. Okay, two more. Two more because I think it will look really nice and blingy. So imagine sometimes you've got the clients which want really one, two, three, four more. And now I've got probably even number. <laughs> Imagine sometimes you've got those clients which uh, want a really bling up nail and uh, if you would put all these crystals like full nail with the crystals first of all it will cost them fortune and then secondly it will be so time consuming like for you to do it so here is another solution for you and I think that will look absolutely fantastic now don't place the crystals into the one line they really need to be kind of spread out onto the nail 
give it a flash cure and now fiddly job so we have to apply the top coat into this needle and I'm just going to put a drop of the top coat on my mixing palette because there is no way I can go with my large brush like I did it in the Christmas tree one and then place that in between the crystals okay you want to go around the crystals but you don't want to touch the crystals around around okay just around those crystals and going around uh, the crystals with your top coat as well is kind of almost um, even securing the crystals more than only the base and now with the large brush I really like using the large brush even on the places where I went with the small brush just to smooth it out my top coat uh, we need to remember that the top coat is a kind of layer of the gel and if we apply it it uneven it is going to show it it is sometimes not visible if the light doesn't hit it but when the light hit it you can really see uh, those places where we've got less or more top coat and I'm really I, I, I really don't like this look okay now we've got another challenging um, stuff to do it but I think it looks awesome because we want to sugar this design so I'm picking up the top coat and now I need to apply this top coat around the crystals okay so really fiddly as well so top coat around the crystals and you need to make sure you are applying the top coat everywhere okay so the top coat has to be everywhere but don't go on top of your crystals So top coat everywhere. And I wanted to show you three different kind of style, uh, styles which will go. So on the rest of the needles you could just apply the gray color or yeah or even do a baby boomer and that will go as a set of the needles like I think it will look fantastic as a as a full set. Or even you could pick up like one of those designs which we have created today and uh, do it on your clients. But let me finish this one so I can show you another idea. And I hope you have enjoyed watching uh, this tutorial. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe. So now I'm going to sprinkle it with the glitter. Okay. And I have picked up the glitter which is called Pixel Effect from the Indigo. So sprinkle it with, the, oh my lord, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I love this one. <gasps> tap, tap, tap to remove the excess. The crystals look like they are gone, but they are not gone. I show you once it's finished, oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm going to do it for my clients. It's funny, sometimes like I just, I don't know, the idea is just coming up. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not going to tell it. Like, oh, it's so nice. I've got no words for it. I really have no words for it. Absolutely amazing. So I show you the effect I have used as well, so you can get it too. And it is by the Indigo, and that's a pixel effect uh, Cinderella. They've got the website in UK as well, which is Indigo co.uk but I'm guessing like I'm always just searching Google uh, Indigo and then the website should come up depending on the distributor in your distributor in your country oh, I'm so excited to to show you the finished look for this design like I think it's so amazing look at this glitter and I can see it it did stick to my nails so you could use this glitter as well like kind of rub it in wow yeah, I, 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 need to, I need to try it as well. Yeah, I love the stuff, like sometimes doing the tutorials and um, recording the things and then we discover something or we see how this look on certain colors. Because even um, a chrome pigment, see, we might have a silver chrome pigment and it will look different in a, um, different colors, backgrounds. Uh, so this is a question to you guys as well. Say example, a mermaid effect. 
you have seen me doing it of few different colors but what i could do is i could take like the gel polish uh, swatches like a samples and rub the indigo effect on blue on pink on purple just to show you like how many different results and ideas you can achieve because i think this is pretty um cool as well to see it but let's let's uh, show you those final results and i think when they are on the stand they just don't look nice so i'm just going to pull it stick it in Gosh, I apply this glitter now. I will need to clean them. And I need to clean my hands. <laughs> then is a second one. So the second one, I want to put it in there because in the middle, we give this huge blink. Okay, so put this on the side. Camera one is going to be covered in the glitter tonight. <laughs> And then take a brush, I love using this facial brush, and remove the excess of the glitter. Okay, so you are going to remove the excess of the glitter. This way the glitter is uh, going to come off from the crystals, because we want the crystals to be visible. And then pick up your file, give us scratches on the sides. Okay, remove any sticking out bits and pieces. Oh, this is so beautiful. And then you will have those sugar effect. Uh, it is absolutely safe to wash the hands, to, to do anything with it as well, um, like no problem at all. So I'm just sticking in a little bit of the blue tack. Uh, oh, you guys asked me as well what I'm using for sticking my tips. So it's a blue tack. Blue tack is a kind of stuff. Oh, this is so pretty. I actually even didn't expect them. In my imagination, when I was thinking of this design, I even didn't expect them to turn out so beautiful. Um, but yeah, I hope you have guys really enjoyed watching these tutorials, glittery hacks, and bye for now.